My hands are actually out there, man. Y'all not about to finesse me in these comments. Y'all was supposed to be getting a two-part video. Another POV two-part video. It was gonna be a POV baseball photography video, bro. Damn, I don't even know the footage on my GoPro. Something happened, it was some BS, I don't know. And it's not even my, it's not even the GoPro fault, it's my fault, because they kept telling me to upgrade my SD card, because I got a new GoPro, and I didn't really want to. And it was working for the past, like, two POV videos, and this one completely missed. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. If your day's not going good, I hope tomorrow is better. And then I subscribe, click the subscribe button, notification bell. Or subscribed. Thank you for your support. See. God damn. Like I said, this is gonna be a POV baseball video and all that stuff, but lost the footage to that. I'm gonna try to get another one for you guys, but we still gonna do a you know an editing session. We still gonna do another sit down editing session because I haven't Actually, the very first time I technically edited baseball videos was how I edit my sports photos. It was like almost two years ago at this point. That wasn't really a complete editing session. Like I'm doing a full walkthrough, like how we did with the football ones, of how I edit these baseball photos, and it's a lot. The only thing I've done, they're right here. Y'all can kind of see them. The only thing I've done was put them in light mode. That's it. I haven't gone through them to look at anything, nothing. So we're going to go ahead and go through that together. Not all of them because it's a lot of photos, but... We're gonna do a little bit of it. So let's go ahead and get right on the computer. Insert dope transition here. Whew. That's embarrassing. Okay, so as y'all can see, these are the baseball photos. I already highlighted a bunch of them because uh, as y'all can see in this top right, it's over 2,000 photos in here. And I didn't wanna, <laughs> it'll be a really long video if I go through 2,000 photos on here. I didn't wanna make it too long. I just wanted to get the gist of how I was gonna edit these. So I just picked a, pretty big select few of ones that look pretty good to me and yeah so we're just gonna go through these try to find some good ones out of all these bird shots and then we're gonna make the most out of it. when it comes to baseball photos i really like the motion i mean actually like motion shots action shots my two favorite shots shots of the pitcher and shots of people running to bases specifically because i can get the best angle second to third base because usually usually third base is always right next to the gate third base is clearly like right here right if third base is right here directly in front of the photo the shot of the players running from second base to third base always look the best especially if they slide he and i think he ended up running directly to home this is actually the facial expression this <laughs> he was locked in he was locked in what i am gonna do probably at my favorite out of the bunch is when he's looking over his shoulder to see exactly where the ball is and see if he has the space and the time to go ahead and run to the base so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and use this now for the preset that we're going to use for today when it comes to baseball photos i like to keep things very simple because i am shooting for the parents mainly i wouldn't throw the football vibrating vibrant oranges and greens on this no i think i would just go with my normal outdoor preset which isn't in the preset pack but i may be working on another one for later on next year but we'll see i mean the outdoor preset is literally just it's it's a normal preset it, it keeps things looking very natural so if you look at any uh major league baseball team's photos all the photos look natural they look naturally they look like as if they would look like what if you if you were there in person and that's the goal that they go for so i think that's what i'm going to go for for these ones as well just make things look very evenly lit very clear and uh obviously gotta fix the composition but uh yeah so we're gonna go ahead and do that let's see how this looks here. I'm, I'm chilling with this honestly i'm chilling with this photo the reason why these photos may look a certain way to y'all i had to shoot against the sun this entire game the sun was directly behind the field you know you gotta live with it you gotta work around it you gotta make the most out of the situation so that's what we did if anything we'll up the whites just a little bit bring this over a little more and honestly, I think I'm cool with that. Let's see if there's anything that Lightroom will want to do. Okay, if it wants to level it like that, boom. That's it, that's it, that's it. We're gonna throw that preset on pretty much every single one. We gotta pick one, you know, the locked in face. I think I like this one right here. I think I like this one. This one's dope. So let's go ahead and throw the preset on there. We're gonna zoom in a little more, bring this over a little more. Oof, I like this here. Let's bring the highlights up, let's bring the lights up. Let's bring the exposure up a little bit, actually. And then let's bring this down. We love the low angles, got to. And then we're gonna add the level, see if it'll fix it. Okay, cool, we'll rock with that. And with that, we are good. These are just pictures of the catcher. These should be really simple. I'm gonna have to go a little bit low, uh, a little bit deeper to see if I have any action shots of the catcher. I'm trying to get him, like I'm trying to get the ball right before it goes into his glove. Um, I have to check a little bit deeper to see if I have those though. So, so these ones are pretty simple, honestly. 
we can delete these two. This one here I'll keep because it's just a nice photo of him looking away or looking technically in the direction of the camera kind of. So I feel like it's a nice dope photo. We'll keep that one. What we'll do is we'll zoom in because one thing I want people to note, when it comes to photos like this, right, where a part of the body is already cut off, you don't want to leave that, like it's just the bottom of the foot, right? That's a really bad cutoff. So what you want to do is you want to pretty much zoom in now. So make it more like a waist up photo so it looks natural because that looks like a properly, I mean, that looks like an improperly framed photo at this point. So what you do is you zoom in a bit and you make the center point, you know, boom. So you get a proper cutoff because you don't want to, you don't want to cut off at like the joints for the most part. So you cut off at the ankle or you cut off uh, at the knee exactly. It, it, it sets up for a, uh, it sets up for an improperly framed photo and it looks weird. So you don't want to do that. So, you know, we got this photo here. This photo specifically, I feel like could be dehazed a little more. So let's, yeah, I like that. I like that better. Oh, he slid. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. We getting into it now. Okay. Hey, this kind of hard. He kind of floating. Oh, look, the ball right there too. No, this kind of hard. Okay. Oh, he missed it. Oof. Literally a story's being told directly in this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. This is a beautiful shot right here. This is the one. This is the one. I love this photo. And I'm not gonna lie, this might be the thumbnail. We're gonna keep it at the regular outdoor. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. We're gonna zoom out though. We're gonna zoom out. We're gonna keep it zoomed out. We're gonna go ahead and level it just to see. That's nice. That's nice. If anything, I'll turn the vibrance on a little bit. I feel like it's a little too vibrant. Only if the ball was like, if I could see it in frame. Cause I think, here you can see it in frame, but it's not in frame here. So either way, even if he did catch it, he's here. Kid's there, bro. Kid is there. That's it. That's great. I might take this running shot here. I may not do anything with it, but once again, you know, they made the player may like it. The player, the parents may like it. The player may like it. You never know. Now, oh, we have another sliding. Okay, talk to me then. I didn't even know we had this one. I mean, it's it's still a dope sliding photo. It's not as nice as that one. He definitely did get there though. You see the ball right here. He there. He is there. Okay. Zoom in. Move over. Straighten it out a little more. See if I move over more. Okay. Got a little more room to work with. Okay. Boom. I like that photo. It's nice. It's chill. It's dope. I think this one might be better because in this photo we see some dirt being kicked up. And that's what you look for. In this one, it's not, it's a little bit, but it's nowhere near as much. So you know what? We'll just take the frame right before as well. Let's level it. Not auto. I mean, auto is fine. That's fine. We took three photos from there. Okay. I say we'll do one more. We do one more. And you know what? What's better than to do the picture? Ooh. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's just get the ball coming around the corner just a little bit. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. So I have multiple different angles from all of them when they were pitching. This isn't the best one, but it's a nice angle. See, I would use some of these, but I just don't like that. Uh, I don't like that you can't see the ball that much. I don't personally like this first one. So that's the thing with a lot of these photos, right? Cause I, I've never played baseball. I've been shooting it for about three years now though. Um, and I've seen what other people post and stuff like that. And just did a little bit of research on what po what what um what type of shots are the good type of shots this normally isn't but like i said they may like it and my goal here is to give them as many photos as i you know can so i will i will send it and then okay i know that was the last one but last but not least we got to get hitting we got to get hitting and these ones oh my god okay y'all see y'all see the lines right i wish i had the pov footage shooting through the gates adds so much texture sometimes when you want it to because mind you all of these photos i'm shooting through the gate i'm not on the field for any of these this photo specifically i like the white lines it added some really dope texture it's kind of like leading lines a little bit so you see on this one we have uh this line you know coming from up here right and then we have this one right below and then in the middle our subject it's just it, it's, it's beautiful bro and with the eyes closed in this photo this is nice this is a dope photo i like this one a lot Bring the whites up a little bit. I want to bring this back. Yeah, I just want to, oh, that's beautiful. Let me see if I can level it. That's beautiful. That's nice. This is a great photo. This is a great photo. All right, okay, after this, for real, obviously there's no more photos. This angle of him pitching, bro, this is fire. Hold on, let me see, let me see, let me see. 
Go to preset over it. Yo, he look like this look majestic. I didn't even remember taking these. Listen, I might not have took these. I don't know. This might have been another DTV. I'm not sure because this is beautiful. All of these are fire, mind you. Like these are all dope. These are all dope photos. This is like this is hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna use all these. I'm gonna use all these, but I don't want this video to be too too long. It was supposed to be a quick video. Once again, sucks. It was supposed to be a two part video. It sucks that it can't be because of myself. I can't really be mad at nobody else or nothing else really. Um, hopefully before baseball season, I can do another baseball POV video. Unlikely because the weather's getting bad at this point. Well, it's about to, you know. Once it get a little too cold out there, we ain't doing no more baseball stuff. You know, no more outdoor stuff is really gonna be going on. Uh, but you know, if I can somehow come across another baseball game, then I may do that for you guys. We'll other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support in most recent videos. I'm not going to lie, by the time this is up, we might be at, because right now, we're at 1.92. Uh, about that. I appreciate, I appreciate you guys so much. I definitely do. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget all the support in the most recent videos. Don't forget to check out the preset link in the top of the description down below. Check out the merch link. Honestly, you don't even got to check out the merch link anymore. You could just scroll down to the bottom of this video, like under it, if you take it out of full screen, and you'll see the merch. You want to check out some merch? Go ahead. We got the new I shoot uh, Sony and I shoot Canon hats and mugs. Check those out if you so must. Other than that, that's, that's, that's all I got, man. Don't forget to stay creative. See you next time.